Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my another video session wherein we will see how to migrate bots using another technique or another feature that is through bot scanner and what is the role that bot scanner plays in during the bot migration. So before we start our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. Also before uh, one last notification that I want to give is I have also published my book uh, on Automation Anywhere for which the link you for which the link you can find in the description below. So without any further delay, I so without any further delay, let us start our session for the day. So let us start our session for the day. So first of all, we will discuss what is bot scanner. Bot scanner is used to analyze the bots that is task bots and meta bots which are created in version 10 or version 11. It is used to generate the reports which summarizes the number of bots, commands and variables that are ready for, for migration and which are not. It is also used to provide recommendation whether you should proceed with migration or not. Next up on our list is how bot scanner works. So in this section we will uh, see the working of bot scanner. So the bot scanner first of all reads the content of your version 10 or version 11 bots and provides the summary report basis the analysis it has done. So the following information is provided which are as follows. The number of bots which are scanned. The number of bots that can be migrated to A360 and those which can't be migrated. The commands and variables that are used in stand bots and which are supported in A360 version. Commands migrated to A360 with some modifications need to be reviewed. Also, if migration factor is above 90% then it will tell you to proceed with migration else it will ask you to wait for the migration. So this is how the bot scanner works. So in the next section we will discuss the practical implementation of migration of the bots. So now we will see how the bot migration is done using bot scanner. So first of all, open the bot scanner uh, exe file. So double click on this scanner for exe so once you uh, double click it will give you a pop up like this or a dialog box like this where you will ask you, you will be asked whether uh, you want to migrate to automation 360 whether you want to uh, migrate plus the bots which are using Internet Explorer or the bots using Internet Explorer. So since I, I need to just migrate to Automation 360, so I will select this option which is, uh, which is already selected by default. So we will uh, after selecting the required option, we will click on the continue button. So uh, once you click on the continue button, you will be uh, uh, asked to select the repository path where your version 11 or version 10 bots are stored. And then after giving the source path, you will be asked uh, to provide the destination uh, folder where you want to save the report. 
and you can give the time out as per your convenience so the by default time out is 30 minutes so i am selecting the source file from over here so uh, over here in my uh, system there are there is no version 11 uh, downloaded so i have downloaded the bot from uh, one of the uh, sites so you can select the repository path of your uh, version 11 or version 10 bots so i am selecting this from the downloads folder which i have downloaded from one of the uh, from one of the websites so i will click on the select folder and then uh, you have to provide the destination folder where the report will be saved so i am given the desktop folder and in the desktop folder uh, i am not giving any folder or i can give it okay so i am giving yes a360 migration report so just select this folder and then uh, over here you can increase the timeout but i am keeping it uh, the same so i will click on the create report uh, option over here uh, i am getting this pop up because uh, the because i have downloaded the uh, i have downloaded uh, from one of the websites the version 11 bot so the repository path for me is not correct but you have to select the repository path of your version 11 that is c username my documents automation anywhere files automation anywhere and my task and inside my task you have to uh, select the folder uh, or uh, you have to select the folder uh, which you want to migrate so i will click on continue button uh, for this so it will take a little bit of time to migrate or to generate a report uh, so now the scanner report has been generated so i will open the report so click on the open report button and you will see uh, the bot the bot that i have downloaded uh, from one of the sites is 100 percent migratable to a360 so over here uh, also you can see the status as proceed with migration as 100% of the bots can be migrated. So if you see over here uh, in the review required uh, tab there is no review that is being pending. If, the, if there is any review which requires any action so it will be mentioned over here. And now we will go to the commands. Uh, which are there in the v11 and which can be migrated to a360 so these are all the seven commands which are uh, being used in the version 11 and all these uh, all these commands are migratable to a360 uh, version and also over here you have the option to download the csv uh, report so you can click on the csv uh, download csv uh, format option and you will see the csv file is downloaded just click on this csv file and you will see the number uh, the various commands and the frequency of being uh, frequency of the command being used in your taskbar so this is how you can uh, use the bot scanner to scan your bots So once your bot scanner phase uh, and so once your bot scanner phase analysis of report is done, the second phase after the bot scanner report analysis is to select the deployment model. So to select the, uh, the deployment model, you have the three options that is cloud, cloud enabled, or on premises with updates through cloud. So in the cloud. The data is fully hosted and managed by Automation Anywhere. In the cloud enabled deployment model, the data is hosted on your infrastructure 
and management functions are being controlled in the automation anywhere cloud and the third deployment model is on premises with updates through cloud so in this model the data is fully hosted on your infrastructure with optional updates from automation anywhere so irrespective of the deployment model the recommendation is to set up the first a360 instance as a dev environment so once you have set up uh, the first instance as dev en environment so for bot life cycle management it is recommended to have three separate environments that is dev test and production so once this phase is over you need to have the license that is the migration license so in the next uh, so in the next section we will see the various licenses that are needed for migration after the uh, after the uh, deployment model is selected we need to get the migration license to get the migration license you have to submit your bot scanner report and specify the license if it is for a360 cloud or a360 on premise then you have to accept the end term product agreement and also the cloud automation agreement as automation anywhere will be hosting the customer data for cloud migration you have to keep in mind that you need to request equivalent number of licenses for control room and other entitlements such as bot creator bot runner and bot insight the migration will fail if the number of a360 license is not equivalent to number of control room uh, and other entitlements available in version 11 environment so once you get the mig uh, once you have received the migration license then uh, you have to activate the license to activate the license for a360 cloud you will be provided with the migration code which will include your migration license you will have to paste this code into the cloud migration utility and run the utility to activate the license then uh, for uh, activating a360 on premise license when the installation is complete upload the G, uh, guid when you open the control room if you do not have the guid then upload the current license file uh, once you open the cr so next uh, so after this we will see the next phase uh, of uh, so after uh, this uh, licensing licensing phase we will see the next phase that is how to prepare for migration in the next section so once you have completed your initial two phases of uh, bot migration steps that is the bot scanner uh, analysis and preparing the deployment model and the uh, getting the license and activating the license so now we will see how to migrate bots uh, uh, how to migrate bots from previous version to A360 format. So login into your control room using your control room credentials. So once you log in uh, into your control room, go to your administration tab and click on migration. So uh, once you click on migration tab, you will uh, be uh, redirected to the migration uh, page where you have to click on the migrate bots uh, button over here you will have to provide the name to your migration so i am giving as bot migration as the name by default it is the username and the date and timestamp which has been provided as the default name and over here check all the chat boxes that are uh, provided so in the AWS email server settings select the exchange version uh, that is uh, 2010 2007 and 2013 basis upon your uh, version 
being used in your organization and then select the authentication type so uh, by default basic is selected you can select o authorization to as your authentication type and check the uh, convert bots built using ie to edge with ie mode and then click on the next button so once you click on the next button you will see uh, you will uh, have to select the bots uh, from the previous version that you want to migrate so over here select the bots that you want to migrate and then hit the right hand side arrow and then click on the next button so once you click on the next button you will see a list of bot runners which are visible which will be visible to you so you have to select the bot runners uh, that on which you want the bot to run and then uh, select the dependent bots that is uh, which will be uh, available in the list form so uh, select and review them once you uh, so uh, select and review them uh, the dependent bots so once you have selected uh, the dependent bots uh, click on the migrate bots button and you will see a page like this where you will see uh, all the bots uh, being migrated and the status will be shown as in progress successful and unsuccessful so for the status which is shown as unsuccessful you can click on the uh, name uh, that is the bot name and you can see the reason why it went into the unsuccessful uh, status so once your uh, uh, once your migration is completed the bots will be visible under the automation tab so you will have to go to the automation tab and uh, you will have uh, you will see the list of bots that you have migrated from previous version to a360 version so this is how you can migrate bots from previous version to uh, the latest version that is a360 on our youtube channel thank you all and have a great day